Hey guys, welcome to part two of this video series with the, the launch X431. Um, in this video, you will, we already went through the unboxing of this of the launch uh, scanner in video one. So if you haven't seen that, uh, link will be to below to go and check that video out. Uh, this video is gonna be about first power on. What are you gonna see you know, when you first turn the, the, uh, the launch scanner on and what's kind of all involved in it? You know, how do you get hooked up to Wi-Fi? You know, is there updates? You know, is it updated? All that kind of stuff. So that's what you're gonna find in this video. Um, keep, keep watching if you wanna see more. I'm gonna have um, a, probably a third video on hooking it up to probably this truck behind me and seeing what we can do with it. So, but in this video, we're gonna be doing just first power on. So stay tuned. Let me flip the camera around and we'll get to it. Okay, so on the top here, you have three different buttons. You have the power button, and then it looks like volume buttons. You got a minus and a positive. So as to, to power it on, that's all we're gonna do is just hold the power button in. Until we see the launch screen. Then we'll just let it boot up. And I won't slow this video down and you'll see how, uh, you'll see how quickly it boots up. So this is not edited. So we are at the launch splash screen. Okay, now it looks like we're in. Or at least it's booted up anyway. So we got, we're at a lock screen. Um, the, the date and time is wrong. This is June 26th on 1239. So that's, you know, we'll just have to set that or maybe when we connect to Wi-Fi, it'll, it'll reset. But, um, on the home screen, it shows us we're not, we're Bluetooth is on. We're not connected to internet. It looks like our battery is at full power. Um, I just got a notification. Um, let's see, how do we, oh, maybe I gotta hit the power button to bring that back up. There we go. Uh, Google Play Protect is turned on. App updates are ready, connect to Wi-Fi. So just kind of some preliminary stuff. You do got a camera button here and it looks like some sort of a, a mic icon. Um, Let's see, we got a swipe. Looks like we got a swipe up to unlock. And we're at our home screen, okay? Looks like we got our the X431 Pro software and the normal tablet stuff. You know, you got your, your camera, your Google files, settings, Google Chrome, and, and the Play Store. So this is an Android-based system. Um, so let's... Uh, Let's go to let's go into settings first. Let's take a peek around in there a little bit. Um, I don't want to connect to the internet because I want to not yet. I want to see what kind of features are on here. So we got ninety seven percent battery life. Um, so that's cool. Okay, are you guys seeing that? Okay. Um, storage capacity. That's kind of a big one. We got twenty seven percent used, uh, twenty three gigabytes free. Um, so not a whole lot of storage, but if you started doing pictures and like maybe a screen recording, that might be an issue. I don't know if there's an SD card slot we can put in here for more storage. I don't see one. So that's that could be a you know a, a, a thing to look at for you if if you're going to buy one or not. Um, just interesting, I guess. And we'll hit our home button. Let's go into the software. Let's see what that says. It says add to home screen, touch and hold place to place manual, to place manual. So I wonder if that's like the manual for the software. I'm just gonna cancel for now. So at the top here you can see we got the X431 Pro version seven. Um, as far as I know, which, uh, See, I'm not sure. I think version 7 is somewhere up there where it's up to date. But but interesting, though, the box, well, if you watched version 1, you'll see that the box said, or excuse me, if you watched video 1, you've seen that the box said version 1 on the outside of it. So I don't know if this whole setup is version 1 or that meant the software is version 1, but it's just updated on this device. Not sure. So let's, uh, let's just click around in here and let's see what we can do. 
So let's go into intelligent diagnostics. Interesting notes. You have been offline for more than 30 days. The local diagnosis, di diagnosis will not function normally. Do you wish to reconnect? So right out of the box, it's not letting us get into it. Yeah, no matter what I click on, it comes up with that. So that's interesting. Diagnose history. So right out of the box, you have to connect it to Wi-Fi in order to do anything with it. Interesting. Okay, so let's... Uh, uh, I can't think of anything else. Let's, oh, let's check out camera real quick. <laughs> so this is our front view camera. Here's looking at you, looking at me. <laughs> so then we can rotate that around. And then we got, yeah, so we got front facing and rear facing cameras. Cool. And we can do picture or video. That's kind of cool. And then with being an Android device, you know, being a YouTuber as myself, if you want to do load some, uh, you know, screen recording software on here, you could do that as well. So interesting. Okay. Now, I don't know if you noticed when I, I did rotate that, it does rotate automatically just like a normal tablet would. So cool. So let's kind of open up some notifications here. Apps are ready to, to or excuse me, app, app updates are ready to download. All right, let's just click on Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is on, right? Okay, I thought that would do more than that, but let's go into settings. Let's go to, to network and internet. <clears throat> okay, so wireless LAN is off. So wireless LAN is, is your wireless. Um, it says Ethernet off, which we don't have an Ethernet capability on this. It's just Wi-Fi. So we're going to turn it on. And then we're going to click into it. And then it brings up all the, you know, the available networks. So you can see my, the internet that I use, Skynet Global Defense Network. <laughs> you guys like that? All right, so we'll click on that. And then I'll just type in my password. Which let me bring this, uh, not that it really matters, but I'm going to bring this away from the camera real quick to type in my password. All right, and here we are. I typed in my password. It says we are now connected. So we are connected to the internet. Get back, back out of here, hit home. Let's look, re look at look, uh, notifications. It says preparing setup. I don't know if I can click on that, see what it does. Okay, it says you can finish setup, setting up your Lenovo, Lenovo. So that's interesting. So this tablet is a Lenovo in, uh, tablet, which from my experience is a pretty good, uh, pretty good brand. Um, we can start. Okay, so it's going to check for updates. I hope you guys are seeing this all right. There's not too much of a glare. Uh, it says you can bring your data from, you know, you can bring all your data from, you know, the... Uh, from an Android phone if you have one or anything, but I'm just going to click don't copy. So if you had like emails, um, all that kind of stuff, it would copy it all over. Probably texting, you know, phone numbers, you know, your contact lists. Then it wants you to sign into your email. So here's where you can set up your email on here if you wanted. I'm just going to skip. Uh, so skip. It's asking to verify. Do you still? Do you want to skip the to download apps and everything? For now, I'm going to. Um, you can set up a pin to protect the password. So you can set up some sort of a pattern or pin or password, just like on your phone. I uh, want to skip anyway. I'm just going to skip it. 
Uh, and it asks you if you want to set up anything else. Another email account, change font size, or change wallpaper. No thanks. Just adding some facial touches, it says. And we're all set. So let's pull down this again. Um, nothing real major. Let's let's open the the. Actually, let's go in and see if there's any settings updates for the operating system itself. Now let's do system updates. It says we have the latest version, uh, at least for now, which is updated to Android nine. So that's what we're at currently. So it is up to date. Let's log into the software. There's new functions available. Update to enjoy a better experience. And it tells you the size of the update package. So we're going to just click update. We're going to download. Now this download will vary um, based on your, your internet. Your internet speed and your provider. Um, my internet is through um, Starlink. I have Starlink internet. So I average um, about I average about 160 megs of uh, download speed and around 15 megs of upload speed. So depending on your speed, it may go faster or slower. But I, like I said, I am not, you know, I'm not uh, fast forward in this video. So you can see it in real time, you know, so there's no cuts, no, no, uh, you know, this is what it is. So I'm sorry if this bores you, you can skip through this if, on your own if you want. But if someone actually wants to know how long it takes to do this update, well, they can watch the video. Okay, now we got a pop up that says launch X41 subscription. Uh, limit discounts $20 off. Get your newest technical support. Uh, let's see here. I think I have a code for that. Uh, let's do update now. <clears throat> Oops. Phone is not allowed to install all unknown apps from sources. Okay. So I must have went into that because I must have clicked on something here. So this this device sh should come with a two year subscription when you purchase it. So I shouldn't have to purchase this. So let's close out of that. Um, let's go into software updates. Um, new registration, technical login. I don't have a username and password, so I'm going to click on New Registration. Please supply your information to obtain better service. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to put in all, all my information here, and then I'm going to click the Register. 
So I'm going to pause the video at this point because I don't want you guys knowing all my email addresses and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to pause the video here and then uh, I'm going to type in all this information. I'm going to click register and then I'll come pick you back up. Okay. So we are back at it. Um, that was a bit of a process. You know, of course, you got to have all your your uh, special username and passwords, and they all got to meet the criteria and all that kind of stuff. And then I had to, add, to put in my activation uh, criteria stuff. So what I had to do was find this little card here that uh, you know you can see is written in different languages, but you had to type in the serial number and then open it up for your activation code. And of course, I'm not going to show you the act, activation code to you guys, but it was all in there. So that's where I'm at right here, where it says, congratulations, you have successfully registered, and click OK to continue. So we're going to click OK. And we'll see what the next screen brings us here. Maybe. I see it's got different uh, icons down here now before it didn't have them, which is good. Um, I don't know what it's doing at this point. Let's try hitting the back button. There we go. So we got, uh, so we got, well, yeah, we got my serial number in there. Um, let's click on renewals just to see what's in here. Okay, so this is just when, it, when we're ready to renew, we can just do it right on the tablet, which is cool. So let's hit back. And we're going to click, we're gonna update that. Looks like we're on version 11.99 and version 155. Um, so let's see if there's an update. And there is. All right. Sorry for that, guys. I <clears throat> full and stopped recording for some reason. So it's just going through and downloading and installing. You know, there's a, a list of things here that is that is doing. They're downloading, installing, waiting for downloads. There's quite a bit of of downloads for it. Holy smokes. Ferrari, apparently we can do Ferraris now. I don't know if you can see that all that well here. Um, so, I mean, it keeps going and going and going. There's a lot. So, it must be downloading, you know, all, for each individual vehicles, too. You know, the different updates. So, this might take a while. And like I said, depending on your your uh, your internet speed and your provider, it, that all depends on how long this is going to take. So I'm not going to bore you with waiting for these updates to download and install. But as soon as that's done, then I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, everyone. We finally got all everything up to date. Um, it, it took a while. I mean, there was, uh, there was uh, about, I don't know how long, probably 45 minutes to an hour of downloading and updating everything in here. I mean, so many different things between vehicles and IMO, IMMO programming and mobilizer reset. There was a ton, a ton of updates. Um, but it is all downloaded now and everything's up to date. We click over right here on available and we have, we'll do a refresh. We'll see if, it, you know, there's, there's nothing, no more updates available. So we're good there. Um, so let's go back to home and uh, let's see here. What, one thing I do want to check, I guess, um, I, I don't know if we're on a different version now. I think we kind of are different app version. Let's, um, let's see what storage we used up on this device. That's kind of a big thing, I think. Um, we're now at 85% battery life. Uh, let's see here. Where are we? Oh, right here. Storage. Dang. 
So we used a lot of storage with them updates. So we're at 55% capacity used. We only have 17 gigs left, which honestly isn't much. Um, kind of, kind of concerning about that. I mean, if you downloaded another app, you know, or something, and I mean, you're gonna uh, storage could fill up quick. Um, so I'm kind of concerned about that with not being able to. At first glance, it doesn't appear that we can can update storage, like put an SD card in or something like that. So kind of concerning, but we'll just roll with it and see how it goes. Um, so let's go back into the app. You can see how fluid it, I mean, it moves quickly, you know. You know, if we go into settings, so it pops up settings real fast. Uh, open the, the app, it, I mean, it, it loads fast. Click on software update again. And there's nothing, nothing to report. Uh, we'll let it. We'll let it refresh. It's, it's going to say there's nothing, but oh, now there's a network failure, which I don't know why it would say that, because we are. You can see up in the corner here, we are connected. Let's try it one more time. There we go. So that it, it refreshed. No, nothing to upgrade. So that's about it. We can go into uh, you know intelligent diagnostics, and it's going to try to connect to our Bluetooth uh, OBD2 port, um, which I don't have plugged in. It's still in the case here. So we can cancel out of that. <clears throat> so I guess that's a first look at everything. Um, like I said, the updating the software took a long time. So be prepared for that, especially depending on your internet speed. Um, All right, guys, so that concludes uh, the second part of this series of, of videos um this was the first initial boot up uh you know take a look see what's going on in there and it, it, it seems pretty straightforward i mean there isn't much to it besides downloading all the updates that it that did take some time but that in a way i'm kind of glad or, or happy about there at least is updates and they are updating things so that's that's a good thing um, but that concludes this video, um, kind of was a little bit of a long one just because of trying to show you how long it takes to set it up. And then I ended up cutting the video because of it taking so long for the updates. But, <clears throat> um, I will, you know, there will be another video to this as far as just getting connected to the vehicle and seeing what's, what it can do, what it can't do. So anyway, there you know you do have a, a, a manuals that come with it. You know, a quick start guide. It tells you, you know, you have to create an account and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, you would know that if you read through it. I didn't. I just wanted to be honest with you guys and show you unboxing and first turn on and what we what you got to go through. Um, not not too big. I mean, it's not a big deal at all. I mean, it, it worked out pretty good. And um, hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it if you'd like but like i said there will be a part three to this which will be the final one and uh, if you haven't seen the first one yet like i said link in the description there will be a link in the description on uh for the third one as well so thanks for watching guys i appreciate you i'll see you in the next one